Hey guys, what's up? So today's a pretty crappy day here in Israel where I live because in the past 24 hours, over 400 rockets have been shot into Israel. And if you're asking yourself, wait, you don't look like you're in a war zone. It's because I'm kind of out of the range at the moment of fire. So I'm safe at the moment, but unfortunately like a third of our country is not and literally sitting in bomb shelters today. So it's a pretty bad day and if you're sitting at home thinking to yourself, why are there 400 rockets being thrown into Israel over the past 24 hours by terrorist groups like Hamas and the Islamic Jihad? It's because we are hosting the Eurovision. The Eurovision is the world's biggest music competition where every country sends a representative to sing a song and then people from around the world um, vote through their smartphones and whatever and there's a winner and last year we won, we here in Israel, we won and that means the competition is this year here in Israel. Israel in Tel Aviv actually in two weeks in two weeks it's happening a week and a half so yeah in like a week and a half it's happening and our wonderful wonderful neighbors don't want this to happen in Israel. They want it to be canceled. Even though this is completely non-political, it's a music competition, just, you know, let us be. They can't let us be, so there are rockets, and I just want all the citizens of Israel to know that my heart is with you, but we will not let them win, and the show must go on, and today we are going to be trying out the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, finally. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm the only person, I think, in the world who hasn't tried this yet. So yeah, so my initial, initial thoughts were, oh my god, this is beautiful. It's just like so simple and beautiful. And the inside is just like so simple and beautiful. And I like how she just kind of let the shadows kind of speak for themselves and I like it. Um, you guys may know if you uh, follow me that, mostly if you follow me in Hebrew, you may know that I haven't really had good experiences with Morphe. But I've heard so many great things about Jacqueline's palette and I really do love Jacqueline. I think she is I think she's a really talented makeup artist and I, I really like her personality. I think she is super, super real. I think everybody who's ever said anything bad about her just needs to like lay up, you know what I mean? Just, just let the girl live. She is, she's awesome and just let her be awesome and just leave her alone. And all I want to say is like get out of her private life. Let her have her own life, please. She is... A beauty guru on YouTube like you don't need to know the details of her divorce and her bank account like just you know okay anyways that has nothing to do with the palette so as you guys know my videos tend to be quite long because I do like to talk so I did um, my face first so I have foundation if you want to know the foundation I used is the Smashbox longwear one that I've been using for the past like month, no, two months. Um, on top of it, I have a little bit of the Dior Air Flash foundation. My concealer, which so many people have been asking me about it, is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's also the concealer that was on me in the previous video, and everybody seemed to ask about it. I think it was just about like lighting. Lighting was like a little bit more kind of filtering in my previous video. Here you guys can like really, really see and I really like to make my makeup videos kind of as realistic as possible because I don't like to wash out my face because I like that you guys can see that I have texture. I like that you guys can see that I have like the lines under my eyes because I want it to be realistic and I want you to see my videos and be like, oh, I do makeup great. Like it's not like I suck and on YouTube everybody is amazing. I want you to know that on YouTube we are real people and our makeup doesn't completely, you know, hide our texture or whatever it is. Um, just most of the time we're behind a lot of lighting and that can give the illusion or the impression that we can give ourselves flawless skin and flawless makeup, but that's not necessarily the case. Okay, anyway, say I told you I like to talk a lot. Um, I'm gonna prime my lids a little bit because I've already, I already put the concealer and a little bit of powder also on top, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of primer on top. This is the Tom Ford primer, just to give myself like a nice little tacky base so the eyeshadows have a good place to stick on to. The reason I'm actually filming this video in English is because my previous video about the KKW makeup a lot of people wrote to me in that saying you should have done this video in English so perhaps you guys think that it's a good idea to do this video in English I don't know I never know which videos to do in English which videos to do in Hebrew all I know is that I want to do both <laughs> For a nice fluffy brush, just like a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to use the Sigma E35 
and I'm going to go for like a kind of beautiful, kind of natural, glammy look. I'm not going to go too crazy with the colors today. I think that if I enjoy this palette, then I will probably continue to use it, and then I'll be able to make up a whole bunch of different kind of colorful looks for you. But I think in order to like test out the palette, it's best if I kind of just stick to, you know, basics, like things that I, I know work for me. So I'm going to start with this shade here, kind of a natural shade, and I'm going to place this very gently on my crease as a transition. You guys know how it is. So I like to start on the outside portion of my eye and then just kind of wiggle it in, not doing anything major. I don't want to teach you, like, this video is literally not to teach any kind of technique or anything new or to be anything kind of revolutionary um, in my makeup technique, but more really to test out this palette. Okay, this shade is exactly what I thought it would be, and I like that, because that's exactly what I wanted. It's just like a very soft, kind of neutrally warm, it's not too warm, it's neutrally warm, um, a really great transition shade, and I totally know why Jacqueline put this in her palette, and I think it's a really great shade to put in a palette, and I think like no palette is complete without a shade like this, because you need that shade to like make everything work. The amount of pigmentation I also think is really great, like it's buildable, it's not too pigmented. I don't like transition shades to be too pigmented also because it's just, it's hard to work with them. Um, I'm gonna kind of deepen this a little bit with the shade right beside and just do the same thing and just layer that on top. Okay, this shade is way more pigmented, I think, or maybe just because it's deeper, it's seeming that way, but it is feeling a bit more pigmented or maybe it's just the layering, I don't know, but it's actually blending out really nicely. I'm really liking how these are working so far. So I really don't know if Jacqueline had anything to do with like the formulas here, or she just kind of chose her shades out of like existing Morphe formulas. But as I said in the past, I haven't really enjoyed Morphe shadows as much as I guess other people on YouTube have, um, especially the shimmery shades. They've kind of disappointed me in the past. So I'm really hoping I'm gonna like this palette because I want to give it love. I really do. I want to give it love. So I'm hoping I will give it love. I really wanted to give the Kim Kardashian stuff love too, but that didn't deserve love. <laughs> By the way, if you're watching this, a lot of people wrote to me like, oh, it seemed like you didn't really want to like it. You didn't really, you know, kind of give it a chance or whatever. I really wanted to like it. And in fact, I took a whole bunch of that makeup with me um, on our vacation to Italy and I like tried to use it again and again and again. And like the more I used it, the more I was like, this is really bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna switch to a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a bit of this maybe like really warm shade in here. Ooh, wow, that seems really pigmented really pigmented. I'm really hoping I didn't exaggerate because like I said, I don't want to, oh my God. Yeah, that's okay. That is really pigmented. Let's just put a little bit, teeny tiny bit there. And then let's just put a teeny tiny bit here. And then I'm really going to blend that out. Okay. So you know what I'm loving about this is that it is scary and pigmented and yet so easy to blend. Okay. I'm going to take my crease whiz just a clean crease whiz and I'm gonna blend out these edges. It's funny because when I created my brushes, I actually didn't create my crease whiz to be like the naked brush that you just blend out with. But the more I use my brushes, I end up like, you know how it is, like you use a brush for one thing and then you end up using it for something else and you fall in love and whatever. I fell in love with the Crease Whiz for just clean blending. It's so good. Like, look at that. It was completely clean and it picked up all that excess. I really like it for clean blending. Okie doke. I, I'm really liking this. This is working out well so far. I am going to take a Finally Faux brush and now we're going to try out um, the shimmer and I'm thinking I'm gonna go in for this like gold shade uh, I've got like my gold earrings on and stuff. So I'm thinking gold's gonna work today um, I'm gonna take my finally phone. I'm gonna try this with just a regular brush Okay, that is 
actually really sticking well to the brush. I'm liking that. I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to wet these shades to actually make them work. So let's see if I just kind of pack that on there. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's... Guys, that is so much better in terms of formula than I tried like last week or two weeks ago, the Morphe, what's it called? The bronze collection or something like that. And they're all pretty much like bronzy gold shimmery shades and I don't really like that formulation so much. This is working like way better. It's way more pigmented. I'm I'm assuming Jacqueline like really, really, it was really important for her to have the best formulation in her palette. So this is good. This is good stuff. I didn't even have to wet the brush. It is, like as you can see, it is kind of chunking up a little on my eyelid, but my eyelid kind of tends to do that. So it's okay. It's not the smoothest, but unfortunately I'm at that point in my life where slowly and slowly but surely shimmery eyeshadows are not as flattering on me as they used to be. Yep, that happens when you're like 30 and, and 30 and stuff, 33. I'm going back in with this brush with no more shadow on it, but I'm just gonna kinda go in a little bit here and add a little bit. Cause yeah, like that's so pigmented. See, it's still on the brush. I'm gonna deepen the outer portion a little bit with this really chocolatey brown here. It's working, I'm like barely touching. I'm literally barely touching and it's working. It is, I like how that's mixing with that red underneath. I really like that. I'm gonna go back in with this brush and these initial shades from up here, just kind of mix them and just kind of blend this out even more. So just to add like a hint of that red back into, you know, the, that crease where I wanted it, I can see it a little bit better on this side. I'm just gonna go in with the Duo Blends It. The Duo Blends It, um, by the way, it looks different. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Um, it looks different because they're handmade, so each brush will look a little bit different. So if yours doesn't look exactly like how the one on the website looks, that's okay, like as you can see, if you turn it, like it's not completely symmetrical because that's the way it is when it's handmade. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that red on this brush and I really like this brush if you just kind of want a hint of color because it's really great for just applying just a bit. You see how that just kind of warmed up that area here? Just picks up just a bit of that color just to warm it up again. And then go back in with my Crease Swizz and blend that out. Okay, so I am getting quite a bit of fallout here. Uh, again, nothing I can't live with. Like, I can live with this, it's fine. I'm not so mad, but, but it's just important to note that there is that fallout, okay? Just so you do know. So don't say I didn't say so. It's not too bad though. Fallout's not, not such a bad thing, you know what I mean? I think I've said this before, I don't really judge an eyeshadow based on how much fallout it has because the more pigmented an eyeshadow, the more likely it, has, it is gonna have fallout, you know what I mean? So I prefer my eyeshadow to be nice and pigmented and blendable as opposed to no fallout, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just take this brush and just like swoop this under here to give myself a nice little shade, a little shadow. I'm actually super surprised at how well the, sh the brushes are holding the pigment without like taking more shadow, you know what I mean? So that's a good sign about level of pigment. These are, these are good. Like look, I'm not even like looking like what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it and then it's working. What else should I do? I just, I feel like I need to kind of go over this though to like smooth that out maybe. A little bit. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna smooth that. As opposed to like packing it on, I'm like smoothing it, you know what I mean? With the finally faux still. This is really nice. I just, I feel like I'm missing a little bit of a pop. So I'm gonna take my Glitter Please and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade here. It's just like a champagne shimmery. And I'm just gonna kind of put that in the middle part of my eye, just to give this a little bit more dimension and a little bit more pop. You see how that adds just a bit, you know, that just gives it a little bit more dimension. But again, the more I layer, I'm getting that texture on my eyelid. So I'm just going to kind of brush this over again. I want to try out this black shade because black shades are really hard to do. So I'm going to take um, my perfect angle. I'm going to take this black 
and I'm gonna see if there's some fallout. It looks like it's not too bad. But most times when I'm doing this, I will like to wet the brush a little. Oh, that's that's pretty good, that's not bad. But I am gonna wet the brush just to make sure I don't get some black fallout on my face. Um, and it will make the black a little bit more intense. So I'm just gonna wet it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and then I'm just gonna run that right on my lash line. Um, I'm not gonna do like an eyeliner or something, I just wanna deepen my lash line. That's working, I like that. That's, that's doing, it's doing its job. Just because I am going to be applying some false lashes today and I want there to be a nice dark base so you don't see the glue or anything. Take a little bit of this dark brown and just put this right on my lash line, my lower lash line to deepen that, especially on the outer corners. What the duo does, it kind of just soften that out. So now that I'm done with these shadows, before I kind of apply my mascara and false lashes, I want to take a nice close look. And I have to tell you that other than really like this little bit of fallout that's here, which again, I can very easily kind of flick away, this this is really good. Like this is, I, this is for sure the best Morphe palette I've ever tried. Um, these are really nice. They're pigmented to the right amount. Like they're easy to use and that's what I like about them. And I think this is a really great palette because you do get, you know, so many shades. There's a mix of mattes and shimmers and you know, the options are pretty much endless in a palette like this. I'm surprised there aren't more purples. I think I would have like personally, if I was creating this palette, I feel like there's a lot of redundancy in the warms and I would have probably added personally a few more purples, but that's just a matter of like preference and shades and stuff. But in terms of quality for now, I'm happy. They did, like I said, like they're so easy to blend that at a certain point they kind of all just meshed and melted together which a lot of makeup artists might not like because it, um, at a certain point, sometimes like you're adding, you're adding and you're blending and it ends up kind of all looking together like one. But I think that for home use and like a non-professional use, this is perfect. This is like actually the perfect formula because you kind of can't really mess it up. Like it, it just, it looks really good, you know what I mean? So I'm going to apply the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I'm gonna try out a new eyelash glue that I've never tried. So yeah, do you see how I do have here? Uh, so yeah, so those golds did fall into this area. So you can see that it's kind of given me like that darkness. It's funny because I almost like it because it looks like I was almost like burnt in the sun a little, <laughs> but it's not supposed to happen. So yeah, there is, there is like fly away and fallout and you know, the, the shadows do kind of escape from the area. So I would say like always, if you want to avoid that, just do your eyes first and then your face and you'll be good. So yeah, individual lashes, hello. Getting fancy today, not like I'm going anywhere. These are the Ardell Medium Lashes, Flare Medium Lashes. And this lash glue is so liquidy, oh my God. So I'm gonna go put on these lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, the glue is still kind of drying. But in the meantime, I thought I would finish this off with some lips. I'm going to use the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick today. I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with these lipsticks because I love the way they feel on your lips when they go on. I love the way they look and they wear really well. But after certain, you know, after like three hours or four hours, they really start to dry on the lips and their smell is really good. So anyways, I'm debating between like this and this. This is like a bit too pink, I think. And then this is, then I'm gonna go with this one, even though I never do something this nude. Influentially it. So let's put this on. I do have a little bit of foundation still on my lips, but mm, whatever. I just love the way these feel when you put them on. They're so cream. I'm gonna put a teeny bit of the Milani gloss on top. I'm loving this. It's called Keep It Full whatever, I don't know, <laughs> something gloss. Zero One Champagne, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lips. Okay, so final thoughts. Jacqueline, you rocked this, you nailed this. I get why this thing was like sold out for a year and only now could I finally get it. Jacqueline, if you're watching this, 
this is great. You did a great job. Who am I kidding? Jacqueline will never see this video. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for the video today. I love you all, the city of Israel. I with you, my heart is with you, my thoughts are with you, be strong. Let's pray for Israel that these awful attacks on the civilians and people of Israel will end and that we will have a beautiful Eurovision and who knows, maybe, maybe we'll even win this year again? Maybe? Maybe? Mm. Why not? Please don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified the next time I upload a video in English because it doesn't happen that often. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye!